guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys had a great month because it's been quite some time since, since i posted i i've just been too busy to even pick up the camera but i'm back and as you can see today we are outside and i'm wearing gloves because we're going to be playing around with chemicals and dye we're going to be dyeing some fabrics like this ones this actually samples for school this ones we did them at, in school but i really didn't okay well i didn't like how they took okay, it so i thought why not get my own dye and just do it myself see like i don't know i didn't i didn't really think like the quality was what i wanted i got i got my own dye my own vat dyes and the chemicals that you need to use while you're dying like in the dyeing process in the dye mixing process before you put now the fabric in the dye but i'll show you guys all that uh yeah i think and the methods you know the the, the methods that you're supposed to tie the fabric so that you get a certain design etc etc uh well i had already done mine but i'll i'll put i'll leave i will leave a list yes i'll leave a list of the um, processes i used the time processes that i used so that i can get the samples that i require yeah anyway if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel hit that bell button so that you get a notification anytime i post don't forget to comment and like and share also follow me on instagram at ndanumel yeah and don't forget to subscribe so this is my setup guys outside so that the the white the white cotton doesn't get dirty before I do the dyeing so I just put the lesser and then I laid them on top so these are the different tying processes that I'm going to be using as you can see well let's come here first we have the dyes the vat dyes this is yellow okay focus come on okay this is purple and then we have blue and then we have green and then we have the caustic soda caustic soda and sodium hydrosulfide these are the, these are the, the, the chemicals that that you need to use in the dyeing process so for prizes if you want if you want to do this by yourself like like an experiment or something this was 300 bob the dye this was for 50 and this was 300 bob so it's really something that you can just experiment on in the house you know have some fun yeah so next we have okay these are the mikebes that i will mix them in the two tins i i had to improvise i just couldn't buy tins i had to improvise so these are the tying methods the different tying methods Here we have knotting. These two are knotting. These two are what were they called again? Well, I'll check. 
these two are spiral this is pegging these are pleats these are circles we have circles over here we have big circles small circles and a spiral one like a spiral circle thingy and this is uh, the use of a pull let me just call it pulling and these are sandwiches you can call them samosas you have to like you have to tie the fabric in a samosa like ship I don't know if it's going to focus Okay, but I think you get the idea. Don't know why it's not focusing. So, <laughs> you must use the hot water first before you cannot use cold water in this process because these chemicals need need to react with the hot water before before you put in the dye the fabrics into the dye. So I'll just. I'll just do them, I'll mix them up and then I'll show So it's a few minutes later, like it's even getting dark. Can you see? Like you can see a sunset, some kind of sunset over there. Anyway, it's a few minutes later and I'm going to wash them out. I, I don't know how <laughs> the outcome it's going to be but i really hope i've done something that is better than what we did in school yeah definitely i have faith in that so i'll just go wash them out because after because they they're like inside the the paint thing is i want to go remove them then i go wash them out like with, just with cold water and then we'll see the final result so um I finished the fabrics are outside drying but they came out awesome I'll show you guys the final result tomorrow it's so late right now as Jakauka now I'm too tired I just want to sleep I'm so tired I just need sleep 
so we'll continue tomorrow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm getting fat we okay. i'm seriously getting fat oh, no. okay use this is white cotton it's white it's pure white so it's 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches so i'm going to show you the samples according to the list like the list that i put earlier in the video so i'm going to show you the samples according to that list so the first one we have pleats this is how these babies came out i don't know, I don't know if you can see yeah, the pleats. This is the pleats using one color. And then we have the pleats using two colors. Yeah. Next, we have the small circles. And these ones are just cute. The small circles then we have the sunburst and oh, this one is amazing i think this was like my best i just loved how it looked and i used two colors here i used yellow and purple so it came out like that yeah i love it next we have the sunburst still but i used one color over here well I really didn't like how this one came out especially using yellow i realized that yellow is not such a like a good color on its own it has to be combined with something else that it looks amazing that's just what i discovered for myself but sunburst then we have the spiral just look at that spiral this is spiral with one color i used blue and then we have the spiral two colors i used purple and yellow as you can see amazing next we have this well this i just like i just tied it like every elephant i tie going around like this in a spiral way so when I removed it, this is what came out. And this is amazing, you guys. Just check it out. This is another good one. Marbling. I this one, I don't know. I just love this one. I don't know why. It's so amazing. Like this one, you just do the fabric like this and then you funganisha it and then voila this is what i got and the same process but using different colors well this one didn't i could shika vizuri because i was pouring the paint on the fabric and it didn't quite shikilia vizuri but it doesn't look bad i can't see it looks bad it's, it's it's amazing it's still amazing just there <sighs> next we have the diamonds so the diamonds and again as you can see yellow doesn't really look good on its own i don't know why it doesn't look good on its own but so the diamonds and these are the diamonds in using different colors like i i used yellow and purple yeah i loved this one so it was amazing next we have the ruching this is how it looks this is the ruching using one color and then i did it again with two different colors but then when the yellow and the purple kind of mixed it brought like a dark color in the middle well i can't say it's bad but it's it's just yeah this is how it looks 
this is another one of my favorite this one is now using the pole this one this one is just good i used two colors i used green and i used purple so this one is just tight onto a pole i'm a county like a soft county and then you tie a string just randomly and then it comes out just amazingly i, just, I love this one The next one was the same pool thingy, but I used one color. I go shika vizuri sana, but I still love it. It's, I love this technique. It's quite amazing. Uh, next, we have the knotting. The knotting. So when you tie a knot on this side, like a knot, and then on this other side again, you tie the knot and then just put it in the dye. This is how it turned out and it looks good. This is also knotting, as you can see, still yellow. Yellow doesn't really excite me, but still knotting. And then up I just put like a circle for experimental purposes. But this is how it turned out and I still love it. It doesn't look bad. The next we have the pegging so you use pegs you just like tie tie the navy continuously and then like you put pegs in different sections so this was pegging and hey this was another nice one i just really loved it let's see and then now there's the pegging using two colors you can see the yellow caught up with the blue and formed some green in the middle but it still looks amazing just look at it wow yeah and uh, that's the end i really had fun doing this it's quite it's something that i think i'll be doing often definitely and uh, if I do something else, probably I'm about to experiment with my baby's clothes a lot with this technique. I have a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. So I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Tell your friends to tell their friends. Follow me on Instagram. Hit the bell button so that you get a notification anytime I post. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Have a great and amazing week. I'll try to post another video soon. Definitely soon. Yeah. So, bye bye.